Hello, my beautiful friends, and welcome to this week's video. Today, I'm going to be doing a styling video for you. I have some really pretty fall romantic feminine outfits for you, but I'm going to be putting the spotlight today on the leather jacket. Before I jump in, though, I hope that you all are having a wonderful beginning to your fall season. I mean, we're almost through October, so that's crazy. Also wanted to say, um, if you didn't get a chance to read my community post, my husband and I found out that I am pregnant and we are gonna have a baby due in April. So I just want to mention that here on this channel. We're so excited. I don't want to spend like too much time on this because I know you're here for the styling, but I did want to give like a little bit of a mention towards that because obviously that's going to be affecting my videos a little bit. I'm really excited about like getting into maternity wear a little bit and just like looking into it. I'm not buying much right now because I don't have much of a baby bump, but down the road, I definitely want to do like a little maternity or like baby bump inspired styling session, of course. Do let me know your recommendations. I, oh, I can't really contain myself right now. I'm really, really excited. Also, if you want like more updates on the pregnancy, I'll be doing that over on my Instagram. We're gonna keep it fashion and styling over here. So yeah. Anyways, I just want to throw that in there. Make sure that you are subscribed if you are not. Um, and make sure you like this video if you enjoy content like this. And let's just jump right into the styling. So leather jackets are an essential for the fall season. They have not been an essential for me as of yet. But now that I feel like I finally have found one that works really well for my style, and especially the outfits that I've come up with, I really, really love how these turned out. So the leather jacket that we're gonna be working with today is this jacket. I think this would be considered like a biker jacket, but this one I did get custom made. It's from a, a brand called The Jacket Maker, and this was very kind of gifted to me. It definitely has like a pumpkin, you know, the pumpkin spice look about it. The whole inside of this is really pretty. Like it's a quilted design on the inside. Yeah, and I also like this um, kind of like ribbed, or I don't know what you would call this style along the arms. If you're feeling like it's too constricting with your arms, I've really liked that about this as well. There's a little bit of this like sparkly metallic type of design like on the back of the jacket too. It's almost like coppery. I think that would be the best way to describe this jacket is definitely has like a coppery undertone to it and I really like it. But I wanna show you how it works and how I have been wearing it. Let me know if you are a leather jacket girl in the comments if you love wearing leather jackets during the fall season. I'm getting into it. I still embrace my ultra feminine style, but I do like to throw a little bit of an edge into my outfits every now and then. I will have more information on this leather jacket in my description box. You can shop all the different styles that they have, the women's jackets, selections that they have. They have so many good different styles, but they also have men's leather jackets as well. And, you, and any of the styles you can get custom made. Um, they come in beautiful leather, and I'm really happy to be showcasing this in this video today. For the first look that I have for you today, I, oh my goodness, I am so glad that I did not declutter this top from my wardrobe. It's the star of the look because it goes so well with the leather jacket. It is this top from Reformation. I've had this in my wardrobe for years now. It's a very warm cream um, base that the florals are on. You've got the green and then that orange peeking through. Maybe not an orange, like a burnt orange color. It's so pretty. I styled this top with my wool trousers from Banana Republic and these are definitely going to be like my favorite. I think I mentioned this in my last video. Like I really, really love how these fit. They're just really comfortable and they're not too constricting in the waist. So it's just comfortable. For, they're comfortable for me at the moment. For the shoes, I was definitely leaning towards ballet flats. So I do have this really cute pair of ballet flats from Lofler Randall that I thrifted. And I really like how it looks. It actually correlates really well with this top, I think. I think they work very well together. But I also wanted to mention there was another pair of low block heels that I have in my closet that I love pulling out this time of year because they do have a bit of that fall academia look about them and I thought it would be fun to kind of get a mixed pattern look from this outfit and the block heels also work really nicely with the with the wool trousers. I was thinking that could be another option as well if I did want to change the look up a little bit or if I wanted just a little bit of a heel I could definitely do that. I did end up going for the ballet flats and then on top of course I would layer the leather jacket. Something that I like to do with the leather jacket though is sometimes just layer on top of my shoulders. Not even through the armholes, just layered on my shoulders. I think there's something about that look that is 
easy and cool at the same time. Today is really rainy. This is the type of outfit that I would wear on a rainy day, especially with the ballet flats or maybe just even swapping in rain boots since you won't really tell with the trousers. You can sneak those in without kind of messing up the whole look. I think it's giving kind of like small town, cozy fall vibes, that type of thing. So I really like how it turned out. Let's move on to the second outfit. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, the second outfit has turned out to be my favorite outfit, and I will say so um, probably throughout the video. So the way that I decided to start this next outfit is with my ever so loved romantic white maxi dress. Now I wouldn't wear this on a rainy day or anything, so it would have to be a nice sunny day. I love pulling this dress out in the fall and winter. It is such a beautiful dress. I did thrift this dress, and it is from uh, Love Shack Fancy. Um, which by the way, like the older Love Shack fancy pieces when they first started the brand are the ones that truly speak to my soul because <laughs> they're so stunning and beautiful. Not to say it, not to say that their newer pieces aren't as beautiful, but their older pieces for some reason just have a place in my heart. They are so stunning and beautiful and they're the ones that I wear the most. This outfit is super easy because if you just have a, like a beautiful vintagey dress like this or maybe you have a white lace mini dress or maxi dress whatever you prefer to wear in your personal style if you have a dress like this pull it out and style it with your leather jacket actually before I show it styled with the leather jacket I wanted to show you the style of boots that I went for and of course I went for my recently thrifted and other stories boots the cream boots they have the perfect shape to them and they, I'm just loving them already this season like I'm Already starting to get the wear from them and I love them. I think this is also a great way to bring dresses into the fall season because I know a lot of times most people find dresses not to be all that wearable. I know it depends on where you live, but I personally think that any type of layering piece works really well for me, at least where I live. And this is just a fun way for me to mix it up a little bit and to kind of step outside of my, my style boundaries a little bit and kind of push myself to um, try new things. Something else that I wanted to try really quick before I move on to the next outfit was to try one of my favorite velvet belts. It's kind of like a floral belt with this dress because I think that that would make it all the more my style and that extra um, feminine touch that I really like in my outfits. So let me try that really quick and then I'll move on to the next outfit. Yes, see I think that the belt completes it. The jacket is so modern and a little bit edgy but still feminine. Like I think that I'm definitely getting the feminine look that I was wanting from this outfit. Yes, I love this so much. This is definitely going to be my new favorite fall outfit I think. The belt is what I needed to complete this outfit. I felt like I was just missing something. Actually I think I'm going to wear this tomorrow. I think this is perfect. For this next outfit I wanted to do another dress look because dresses are my thing. I decided to start this look off with this sheer layering turtleneck. I actually purchased this off of Newly last year and I'm so glad that I did because this has been like the best essential piece for me to style underneath my dresses. So if you can just get yourself something simple like this and you can very much bring in your dresses into the fall season. I'm going to style this turtleneck or this layering piece underneath this tweed dress. Unfortunately I can't leave this dress linked for you because this is from an independent designer brand that is no longer in business and it just makes me so sad saying that. Um, I love independent designer brands. It's like the one thing that gets me very excited about fashion. But if I can find something similar to this, I am going to link it in the description box for you because I just think it's such a gorgeous piece. This dress has the exact color of the leather jacket very closely. If you look closely, it has that orange, like brown orange within the style of the dress. It's just so pretty. I do think that the boots are important. So I did style my cream leather boots just to kind of um, go along with the cream top that I have styled underneath it. I wanted to come make sure that I pull the colors through in the outfit. I was thinking I should have added some jewelry or something. I have been getting back into jewelry a little bit. I decided to finally pull these out again. I just don't get enough opportunities to wear these like enormous heart earrings and I just they make me so happy so I decided to wear them in this video today. But yeah, fall is also the time of year where I tend to pull out my jewelry more as well. So I feel like that's one thing I forgot to do in this video is to do styling more jewelry with the outfit. When you're just styling outfits, you don't sometimes think about things like that. Whereas when you're actually wearing the outfit for the day, you do think about that kind of thing. So next time I will do better with that. Okay, for this outfit, I really could not help myself. I had to do a Lorelai Gilmore inspired 
outfit. I've always loved how she looked in leather jackets and she's been one of the icons that I'm like, ooh, maybe I will try leather jackets, you know? So I thought I would do like a Lorelai Gilmore inspired outfit and I think that this one turned out pretty good so let me know what you think but I decided to take this really pretty pink roughly it's a really pale pink very very girly romantic would be the best words to describe this top um, I love the neckline too it's like the perfect amount beautiful but I decided to style this blouse with my Veronica beard flare jeans because I know Lorelai Gilmore always wears the bootcut jeans a lot of the time, but these are the closest thing that I have to bootcut is flare. So I styled these jeans with this top. And then to add a little bit more romance to the outfit, I decided to add in this floral belt because these belts, I just love pulling out this time of year. And this one is in a really pretty blush color and it works so well with this blouse too. I just felt like I needed it to kind of pull the outfit together. And I do believe that Lorelai would have worn something like this. I mean, just remember like the wedding dress that she made um, in the, the TV series. Like I feel like this is something that she would definitely wear modern day. Kind of like that DIY look um, is definitely something I think she would go for. So I decided to style the belt with the jeans and already we're definitely getting a little bit of Lorelai. Before I add the jacket though, I did want to say I did go for the cream boots again, just to kind of keep it neutral. Those are really easy boots to wear every day, so the heels are really low, so it just makes it nice. But then I styled the leather jacket on top, and I will say I had a little bit of trouble with the ruffles, but once you kind of get the ruffles tucked into the jacket, it looks really nice. So let me know, do you think that this looks like Lorelai or not? I don't know, but I was definitely going for that type of look with this outfit. And I really like how it turned out. I think I definitely see myself wearing this more so as like maybe to see family or more of a rainy day outfit once again because I think it kind of brings a little bit more color into the outfit. When it's rainy, I don't like to go so much more neutral. I like to wear color, especially in fall too. When you do get more rainy days and more gloomy, you do want those colors to really brighten up the day and people always love seeing color in fall. It's still sticking to my favorite color, pink, but yeah. Anyways, let me know what you think. I really like this one. The dress one is still my favorite, but I do love this one. So for this next outfit, I really wanted to focus on bringing in a bow detail and something a little bit more light because we do still have warmer days here and there. So I thought having a lighter outfit and then having a jacket to lay on top would be really nice. So I'm starting off with this top. It's very vintage-y inspired top. It has a little bow detail in the front. I did once again thrift this and it's so beautiful. I love all the intricate details on this. I decided to style it with this skirt, which I can leave this one down in my description box, I believe. It has this really cute eyelet design on it, and it has a little bit of a slit in the back. Also, since it's uh, elastic, it works really well if you have a little bit of a baby bump. I decided to style these two together. For the shoes, I went for my cream boots once again. I mean, I'm using the boots a lot. I was running into one problem with the color of this jacket. I don't have any brown boots that I felt coordinated well with the color. If you wanna have coordination with your outfits, maybe consider like looking at the color of your boots and choosing a jacket that coordinates really well with them. That's something I, I probably should have thought of before I went with this color, but I really love the color and it's working okay for me. So just glad that I got those cream boots because they are what's pulling me through for these outfits. Once I had my base, which is the top, the skirt and the boots, I went for styling the jacket on top. It's very similar to the white dress look, but it's a little bit more detailed. Very comfortable once again. This is something that I could wear on a more rainy day, I think, because the skirt doesn't dust the ground or anything. With the dress, it definitely does, so I would stay away from it on days like today, but the skirt one, it works well. Also like a dark lip or something, a fall lip, a brown. I like the brown tones in the fall season, but also I think a red lip could look really pretty with these outfits as well. I tend to go for more of the dusty pink and the browns, not so much the reds during the fall season. Reds, I definitely wear more so for like special occasion and more Christmassy and holiday type of thing. But overall, I definitely prefer those brown tones. So that is my version of styling leather jackets. Let me know which one is your favorite. I hope you all are doing well this fall season and enjoying the cozy time of year. 
I will see you all very soon in my next video. Bye.